Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw. Some news just broke a little bit earlier about who is officially going to be playing in Suicide Squads, the movie that's following up after Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, basically Suicide Squads, if you don't know, and I'm not too familiar with it either, but basically what I read is simply Suicide Squads is a bunch of villains coming together to make an anti-hero team, and essentially this is what they're going to be moving forward with, so this will be inside the DC Cinematic Universe with these villains, so we have some pretty interesting cast uh, choices. I'm going to go through each of them right now and basically announce it and have a little photo right here of all of the cast members who's playing what and then I'll go through uh, some individuals not everybody but some individuals I want to talk about so let's start off here reading this off so the cast of the cast of the film was announced in addition to confirming Will Smith will be playing as a dead shot Jared Leto as the Joker Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, Tom Hardy as Rick Flag. I'm pretty sure that's how you say the last name. I thought it was two G's, but this says Rick Flag. Uh, so if I'm wrong with that, sorry about that. Jay Courtney as Captain Boomerang. It was it was also revealed that model Cara Develgeny. De, De, De probably butchered that too, but I'm not going to talk about her a little bit later. Enchantress, uh, Enchantress, who she'll be playing. And also, it was uh, I, I think later confirmed that it, it's that. Um, that Jesse Eisenberg, who's going to be playing Lex Luthor in Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, will be appearing in this film as well. So that's pretty interesting news. But I want to get to the actual some individuals. I want to talk about Will Smith, Jared Leto, Margot Robbie, and a little bit of Tom Hardy. So let's do that now. Let's start off with Will Smith playing Deadshot. What I like about this casting is that Will Smith, of course, has played his comedic roles and, of course, taken on some more serious roles. So I'm really interested to see how he's going to take on this Deadshot role. Is he going to take it more seriously and be a more serious character, or is he going to be more on the quirky side sometimes and have some one-liners to basically throw out there and, you know, and to be that type of character where he's not comedic, but he's also, you know, he has some things to say to basically break the tension, or he's just going to be a completely serious character but we're not sure. But what I like is that Deadshot and the Suicide Squads is in the same universe as the DC Cinematic Universe. So, Deadshot is a primary villain for Batman. So if that's the case, has Deadshot, this Deadshot in, De in Suicide Squads, has he, already, has he already met Batman? Or is he about to meet him later in a later film? If that's the case, that means we'll be seeing Will Smith and Ben Affleck Batman going at it. I'm not sure if Will Smith is going to be bulking up for this film, but it would be uh, pretty cool to see that, and um, also pretty cool to see, you know, where he takes his character. What, what exactly are we going to be introduced? Uh, basically an origin. Are we going to see kind of an origin of all these characters in the Suicide Squads? We're not sure, but I like the Will Smith cast, and that's a pretty cool choice to make, and we'll see where that uh, takes us. But what I want to see, Will Smith, Ben Affleck going at each other, that would be cool. Up next, Jared Leto as the Joker. Now, his name has been throwing around for a very long time about he's going to be cast in an upcoming Suicide Squad film. So they're, they're probably thinking, is he going to play Deadshot? Is he going to do this, this, and this? And then all of a sudden, the people are like, Joker. He's got to be going for Joker, right? Is it going to be Joker? And it's official now. He's playing the Joker. Now, the last person who played the Joker did a very fantastic job on film. And that is, of course, the amazing and legendary at this point, Heath Ledger. His performance of that character was legendary. And he really set a very high bar for that character. Now, am I saying that Jared Leto is automatically going to fail because Heath Ledger's put it on another level with his version of the Joker? No. I'm going to give him a chance. I want to see what he brings to that character. I'm hoping that this is a a more comic booky type of character of the Joker and because we all know the Christopher Nolan trilogy wasn't really comic book it was more set in the actual modern times real life scenario situation and not where aliens are flying everywhere and Superman's over here and Wonder Woman's over there Aquaman's down there all this so I'm hoping that this comic book or I'm hoping more comic book version of the Joker from Jerry Leto will be more focused on you know, the, the things that we're used to seeing in the comic books, and of course, the person we're going to talk about next will be a good accomplice, and we'll actually get to see this person uh, basically interact with this Joker on screen, because we've seen it so much in the comics and the cartoon series, and of course, the Batman Arkham games, if you have played them, so uh, we'll see what happens with that, but I like this casting, Jerry Leto, hope you do a good job. Margot Robbie playing Harley Quinn. Now, what I really like about this is not because Margot Robbie's playing Harley Quinn. I think that's a great choice. She's a great actress. But they're finally bringing Harley Quinn 
to the actual screen. It took them so long, and they're finally doing it. And I think they made a good choice by picking her, Margot Robbie, to play Harley Quinn. But what I was saying before about Jared Leto, that we finally get to see the Joker and Harley Quinn interact within the film, because they're both going to be in the same film, the same universe. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to go, if they're going to play on the aspect of where she's just an accomplice, and she just follows the Joker or is it going to be in the, the point where they're actually in a relationship and they're like basically Bonnie and Clyde is that how is it going to be who knows but the fact that we're finally getting Harley Quinn and I, I, I have no doubts that she'll do great I think she will do a fantastic job playing Harley Quinn but I'm more excited to see how her and Jared Leto as the Joker will interact within this film and how they're going to basically deal with that relationship and what way they're going to go but either way it's going to be exciting and I can't wait let's get to the final person Tom Hardy Tom Hardy as Rick Flagg. I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name. But I'll just stick with Tom Hardy talking about his casting. Now, what I really like about Tom Hardy is that he did a very, very good job as Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, and people can say this and then that about his voice and all this stuff. But the way he bulked up for that character and the way that he put his voice into that character. Because that voice you're hearing on screen is Tom Hardy himself and it's pretty cool to see he's coming back for a DC film and he's going to be playing of course another person another villain type character in the DC Cinematic Universe but the fact that they thought about him and brought him back actually to do this is a very cool choice and I think it's really really cool and uh, I'm really interested to see how he's going to take on this character as he's already taken on a already another villain uh, within the DC Cinematic World so uh, that's a pretty good casting I liked his performance in Dark Knight Rises like I said Inception he did a good job there as well so I have no issue with this at all but uh, that's basically it guys thank you guys for watching that is my thoughts on some of the cast members and basically the announcement of this cast I'm really excited for Suicide Squads like I said Said before earlier in this video I'm not a huge fan of Suicide Squads don't know a lot about it that's why I'm more excited about this film because I don't know a lot and the fact that they've announced some villains that I do know and villains I don't know and actors and actresses I do know and some that I don't know it makes it more exciting because it could be the best thing ever since Guardians of the Galaxy or it could go downhill but I have high hopes for this so what do you guys think about all this casting the cast I talk about individually and just the cast in general let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching peace